Panamiac here. So the CDC just recently released their updates on the obesity prevalence and provided maps and statistics along with it. But before we go into that, I just want to give you a brief history of what the United States obesity statistics have looked like. We started out in 1996 without any state, without one state being over 20% obese. And as the years went by, obesity started to increase and around 2005 is when we hit the first state that was over 30% obesity. And obesity kept rising and rising and rising. Finally, we hit 2010 and that's where we didn't have one state that was under 20% obesity. Remember, we started off without having one state being over 20% obesity. The new statistics have come out and I should say that the BRFSS system that brings all this information and data to the public has changed their standards and their way of finding these statistics. So we can't really compare this new data to the old data, which is why we didn't have any data in 2011 and 2012. But that being said, an article that was published in the Journal of American Medical Association said that the average rate of obesity in the United States is sitting at 34.9%. That equates to 78.6 million adults in the United States that are suffering from obesity. That's more than one third of the population. So imagine you're sitting there with two of your buddies watching this video right now. One of you is obese. And this isn't just a weight issue. Obesity is not just a weight issue. There's many other health complications that are influenced by just having obesity, such as diabetes, heart disease, and these are all related to a poor diet. It's estimated that the annual medical cost for obesity is $147 billion. Can you imagine the economic benefits that we would have from reversing this food illness to say the least. Just have a look at the article that Kaiser Permanente published in their journal last year. Kaiser Permanente is the number one managed care organization in this country. And they said physicians should recommend a plant-based diet to all their patients, especially if they suffer from high blood pressure, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, or obesity. I mean, it's it's crazy. It's crazy and the world has to start listening. Heck, they even had to add newer colors to bring down the significance of the obesity rates. It's, it's crazy. Start telling everyone you know about this. Start telling them what the power of a plant-based diet does. Tell them to watch Forks Over Knives, the documentary that will show you how you can prevent and reverse chronic diseases all through a whole food plant-based diet. There's absolutely no reason why any of us should suffer from these chronic diseases. And not to mention our economy can benefit a great amount by having less sickness in this country. I mean, we're not doing so well in public health. So this will not only benefit our health, will benefit the economy, will benefit the planet. It's just a win-win-win situation. So if this is something totally new to you, look up the resources that I told you all about. Look at the links down below and let's help save this country as well as this planet because it's starting to spread worldwide. So as Hippocrates once said, let food be thy medicine, medicine be thy food. Let's change the health of this world around to give our better future for the next generation. That's what it's all about. So thanks for watching. Let's see some changes. Let's see some big, big changes because we need them. Subscribe if you haven't already to check out more of the benefits of a plant-based diet on health, on the environment, on all sorts of factors. And uh, also check out my second YouTube channel called Symposium Films where I interview lots of plant-based doctors and leaders in this plant-based movement. Let's see some changes. Let's see some changes. All right, we'll see you guys next time.